ever since I conquered the world with my very own created club, I'm looking for a new challenge. The media keeps calling me a Premier League merchant, you guys as well. It's time to prove everyone wrong. I'm gonna become the manager of Napoli and bring them success like never before. Even Maradona couldn't win Napoli the Champions League and well, my goal is to bring the Champions League to Naples. You might be thinking, this is gonna be easy. Napoli just won Serie A. They've got Kvitscha, Osimhen. Well, you're wrong. To win Serie A in this series, we're gonna have to compete with Inter, AC Milan, and even Juventus. And to complete our ultimate goal of winning the Champions League, we're gonna have to beat the likes of Madrid, Bayern Munich, and even Barcelona. It ain't gonna be so easy. To make it more difficult for us, we're gonna have to abide by a transfer rule. Every season, we'll be forced to accept one transfer offer for any of our players that comes from the two big clubs in Spain, or of course, the big boys from the Premier League. I can already sense the vultures circling around Osimhen and Kvicha. To make it even more difficult for us for the first time ever, I'm gonna be playing on ultimate difficulty. But no matter what, I'm gonna do everything possible to win Napoli the Champions League and prove you guys wrong. Let's get this show started. Here we go, guys. The Napoli career mode begins now. Episode 1. It feels different, boys. It's been so long since we've done, like, a regular career mode, and I'm so freaking excited to try and take Napoli to that Champions League trophy. I think we should just start off by taking a look at the squad we've got, because, oh boy, this Napoli team is good. Kavicha Baracicilia. Hopefully, I'm saying his name right, but he's an absolute baller. Then we've got Osiman, Zielinski, Zambu Ingisa, Kim Min Jae. Bro, I'm hearing things about Kim Min Jae being the best centre-back in the league. So we've got a team that can definitely win Serie A as they've shown in real life. But the challenge is to take this team one step further and win the Champions League. And as I said before, if the offer comes for Osimhen or Kvica or Zielinski from the big clubs in Spain, the big clubs in the Premier League, we're going to have to completely change our plans and build that way. Also, I know what you guys are thinking. What about the Creator Club in Spain? It's coming, boys, but the Creator Club series takes a lot of behind the scenes work so we're working on it maybe next month we'll start a brand new journey until then the gaffer is going to prove everyone wrong by winning the Serie A and the Champions League you guys ain't going to be calling me the Premier League merchant anymore you see this is the problem in the Serie A we're one of the best teams in the league and all we have yeah. is 65 million to spend that is honestly ridiculous to win the Champions League we're going to be competing against clubs that have double or even triple the money but hey that's the challenge and I'm here for it all right guys we know know our budget we know the limitations of what we need to do in terms of making signings and everything so let's assess the squad and see where best we can put that money and bring in some new players the good thing about napoli is they've got the fullback positions covered di lorenzo i think is really awesome mario rui as well i think is pretty good but what we do need i feel is a good center back partner for kim min jay and investing there could be a massive dub i really think you know napoli could do well with a goalkeeper but for now maybe Medet can do the job but someone better than Lozano in that right wing position. Ooh, that, that tempts me. But yeah, there is work to do, but I think center back is the position we need to invest in the most. Remember guys, our plan can change any time if we get offers from the big clubs. Luckily, this isn't it. But yeah, let's say an offer comes from Barca for Osimhen. We're gonna have to accept it. One transfer like that every season has to happen. Bro, it makes me anxious every time I'm simming through days. Look at that. It's, it's already come for Zielinski. And for Ossiman, thankfully it's from Aston Villa and we don't have to accept it. Oh my god. The same with Zielinski. N not interested in selling him to a rival. After a bit of scouting, I found Gianluca Mancini of Roma to be a solid choice. He's Italian, knows the league, and I think he'd partner really well alongside Kim Min Jae. And so we begin negotiations for the Italian centre-back. He's quite near his prime. I think could be a solid signing. Let's negotiate maybe a deal of like 30 million for him. 35.5 actually sounds very reasonable and Jose Mourinho bro are you guys seeing the drip he's in would you look at this Jose Mourinho in a jacket and everything look at the drip he's got his own branded jacket fair enough and we've just agreed about a 35 million deal for Gianluca Mancini but for some reason we offered competitive wages to Mancini instead he rejects it and ends up walking out why why not at least give us a counter like this deal is just broken through for no reason of course guys I can 
completely see why. Gianluca Mancini got a big offer from Arsenal. They were willing to pay him 86,000, almost double the wages we offered. That's the thing, competing with the Premier League clubs with insane money. It ain't gonna be easy. We've already lost out one of our targets to them. But there's another option from Roma, and it doesn't look like anybody else is trying to sign him. Roger Ibanez. And I feel bad for signing Roma's other center back as well. But bro, I want to improve my team. And I think Roger Ibanez and Kim Min Jae could be brilliant together. But this time, let's try and get this deal quickly because I don't want to be losing out to another club. Here we go. So I think we're going to have to pay more for Ibanez simply because he's younger. He might actually be the overall better signing to make, you know. I'm trying out for 36 million. They've countered with 45. It might be a season where we get to make only one signing. Oh boy. But hey, it's going to be tough. We'll counter with 40 million. Jose Mourinho's trip has changed. He's wearing a casual sweater now. Don't know what happened there, but 44 million is the counter. Guys, I'm going to try and stick with it. I'm going to counter with 41. Call me stingy, but we don't have that TV money and, and the crazy monies of the Premier League. So there you go. Bit of negotiation. 41 million works. All right, guys, let's get my boy Roger Ibanez ready to play for our club. This time, let's hope he doesn't reject us because it's going to be painful. I don't want to get rejected by two players in the span of a week. Like that's, that's genuinely sad. We'll offer him 70,000 per week, a wage bump. It's going to be a big hit to our budget, but right now we've just got to get this over the line, improve our team. And there you go. He accepts. And so with that, guys, we've made a massive signing to improve Napoli. Roger Ibanez, the Brazilian centre-back, joins our team. Not going to lie, that is a solid first signing and instantly I feel our defence is a lot better. Our budget is down to 21 million, with which I think we can squeeze in another signing. But if there's like a random player that we don't need that we can sell, no, we don't really have those kind of players because like I thought we could sell Giovanni Simeone, but he's on loan. Raspadori is on loan. How many players do we actually have on loan? And Dombelli as well. Managing this Napoli team has already proven to be a challenge. In other news, we've just received a massive offer for LG Elmas, 42.8 million, 22-year-old Macedonian. That is crazy. Oh my days, is that a big offer for him? Do you know what? I'm tempted. Why? Because we've got Zielinski in that position. If I'm being real, Elmas might not get that much game time this season unless he proves himself on the pitch. Ah, I don't know what to do here. Do you know what, guys? I think selling a 22-year-old is against what I do as a manager. We're going to reject it for now and just, just hope that Elmas can make it into our first team. As we get through days and make our way to the first Serie A game, I'm just worried big offers might start coming for our big players. We've got one from West Ham. Thankfully, we're not obligated to accept this. Otherwise, oh boy, would that be tough. But so far, Barca Madrid haven't come in with offers, which is a good thing. We're so freaking lucky, guys, because I almost thought an offer is going to come in for Osimhen and Kvica and turn this series completely on its head. But so far, we get to experiment with this team and see who our best players are. It's time to begin our Serie A campaign. We're starting things off against Bologna, and it's a great chance to just use my first team and get a vibe of this team. This is going to help us to see where we need to spend the rest of our money. By the way, guys, if you're excited for the return of a career mode series on this channel, I need you all to come in with the likes and also subscribe for more FIFA content. Here we go, boys. Serie A begins with Napoli at the Stadio Diego Armando Maradona Stadium. Let's do this. Bro, I'm actually so freaking excited to start a new career mode series because it feels like ages since we've taken a club to the very top in the old school way. And here we are doing just that. Serie A is definitely a lot slower paced in terms of, you know, you can feel it already on the pitch, but maybe we'll bring out a different style here with our quick attacking ability like we're doing right now. Creature. Oh, Creature scores already. Napoli won. Bologna nil. Lovely finish from Creature. That is incredible. And for everyone saying that I'm not a good player at FIFA, well, would you look at this? Ultimate difficulty. We get our first goal. Creature gets it done for me. Okay, we've conceded a cheeky free kick and this is not good. Bologna with a chance. Get it away. Okay, please. Can, can we not, not concede there? There you go. Oh no, we've just given the ball away. No, we've got it. No, we don't. What are we doing? What are we doing? And off the post and in. Well, that's ultimate difficulty for you. Out of nowhere, we've conceded. Zielinski looking for Osimhen. Oh my god, it might go in. No, cleared off the line. Are you kidding me? Honestly, guys, I'll tell you this. Osimhen is absolutely cracked. What an attempt that was from Osimhen. Oh, so freaking unlucky. Look at it, boys. Goal line technology. 
and it almost just trickled in. No, 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 this is bad. Clear it away, clear it away, Ibanez. That's why we signed him. Solid centre back to have. Lobotka sees Osimhen make that run. Osimhen has a habit of making those movements. Yeah, he goes. Nope. Tough angle, but keeper saves. Moving the ball around nicely. Osimhen making a turn for himself. Good play. Looking for Lobotka. Lobotka misses. How has he put that wide? Yes, Kvicha has been the star of the show so far. Here goes Kvicha. From outside the box goes for it again. Another save. Half time and so far the vibes are brilliant from our team. Just that defending is a bit sus. But I think we'll adjust this area. Osiman so far though. I need to get him on the score sheet. He is so freaking good. No, no, no. This is bad. This is bad. That's a good save from our keeper. Ball inside. Moving around nicely. Zielinski has got a chance here. Fires that one straight at the keeper. We just can't seem to finish. Maybe it's time to use our squad properly. I'm going to bring on Politano for Lozano. That place has just not helped us out. And remember Elmas, who we got a 40 plus million offer for? Time to see what he can do. We're going to put Zielinski in the middle and have Elmas play in that attacking midfield role. No, this is bad. This is bad. Meret with a good save yet again. Time is running out, boys. We, we need to be pushing forward more often. Our first ever game as Napoli manager ends in a one-all draw. I told you, boys. Napoli career mode? It sounds easy because they won the league in real life, but the truth is, on the pitch, ultimate difficulty, this series is going to be a real challenge. But what this first game has done is that it's given me a real good idea of what I need to do next. I'll be honest, guys, I'm not too keen on Politano. I really think if we can cash in on Politano, get a bit of money from him, we can go ahead and sign a right winger that can really add to this attack. And so I'm doing it. I'm putting Politano Politano on the transfer list. We can apparently get around 25 million for him and that's gonna be good money. With season ticket sales, we're already up to 37 million, so the sale of Politano could bring us a world-class winger. And that is exactly what we did. We sold Politano for 27 million to Aston Villa. Goodbye, Politano. It's not sad to see you leave because, uh, yeah, I wanted to sell you anyways. Our budget now has gone up to 63 million. With that, I think we can sign a right winger. That's gonna change our attack. I mean, our attack is already amazing, but let's make it even better. Okay, I know this sounds crazy, but hear me out. Riyad Mahrez to Napoli? Oh boy, does that sound insane. I know he's 31, but if he can give us a couple of good seasons, that is all we need. He might be the perfect player to be feeding those balls into Osiman and linking up well with Kvicha. This is the signing I think we need, but to pull it off, we're gonna have to really do everything we can with our money. The only benefit I see is that because he's 31, we might get a deal on this ever so slightly. So we're going to start off with 47 million as our first offer and see what they say. Ooh, they're willing to do this if we put Elmas into this deal, but sorry, I'm not willing to put Elmas in right now. Like, honestly, let's counter with 48 million, but our budget is running out. Oh my god, it's worked, guys. Riyad Mahrez, a multiple time Premier League winner for 48 million? Nah, that is a steal. That is a steal. But don't forget, he's going to have to negotiate a wage cut here at now because we can't afford to pay him the same crazy money. So yeah, it's going to have to be a tough one for him. Let's see what he does. We'll give him a three-year deal. No release laws or anything. How much do we offer him in wages? We'll offer him 140000 It's a big haircut he's going to take on his wages. Is he willing to accept it? Ooh, yes, but with a 400000 signing bonus. I think we can afford this. I think we can afford this. And somehow we've managed to make one more signing. The Premier League was supposed to come and take players from us. In Instead, we've just taken Riyad Mahrez and brought him to Napoli. I gotta say, Riyad Mahrez continues to look good in blue. The game automatically gave Mahrez the number 10 kit, but I think we all know, number 10 has been retired by Napoli. So out of respect for Maradona, we're gonna give Mahrez his number at Manchester City, which is 26. I'll be honest, guys, our team is actually looking fantastic. Unless an offer comes in from the big boys and surprises us and takes away one of our best players, we're in a very good spot to, I think, challenge for the Serie A, of course, and also do bits in the Champions League. But first, we need to get our first win of the season. Good thing we've got Mares making his debut. Oh, things are starting off real well, Creature. Lovely ball in for Osimin, and that is more like an instant start. Osimin gets his goal. Napoli take the lead. Creature and Osimin together. It's a lethal duel. Creature on the attack, finding space. Oh, he went it, but couldn't quite pull it off. Oh, All right, honestly. time to see what an impact Riyad Mahrez can make. Oh, there's the quick feed. Still Riyad Mahrez, maybe a finesse shot. Finds nope. a bit of space. Ooh, that was an interesting attempt, I must say. Here goes Riyad Mahrez. 
I want to see him in action now. Riyad Mahrez opening up that space. He went for it, but the keeper saves. Labotka looking for Ossiman who's broken through. Could he get himself another goal? Yeah, nope. he should. How is the keeper saving that? It's still only 1-0 and that's definitely got me worried. We need to try and get another goal. Maybe Mahrez from here trying to curl it in. I was just asking a bit too much, even from the great Mahrez. Labotka sees Ossiman, the header. That was a unique attempt. Mahrez. Looking for Ossiman, it's brilliant. Bro, I can't believe we can't make it 2-0. This is all setting up for a late equalizer for our opponents. We need to get our first win today. Come on, Mares, put in a good ball. Decent stuff. We just can't seem to attack anything. Kvichak gets it. Can he create some space? Goes down, pen. No pen, we still have the ball. We're moving throughout nicely. Can we get some space to shoot? And finally, guys, Zielinski. That came out of nowhere. I was expecting the keeper to save it, but 2-0. And that should get us the result. No, 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 no. Maybe I got excited a bit too quickly because our opponents are back in this. Thankfully, we managed to hold on. Get the job done. First win in the Serie A. Not a bad start to life in Italy, but of course, we need to keep getting better. Soon, we're going to have the Champions league and the fact that we've got such a difficult group is going to be exciting liverpool ajax and rangers the crazy thing is napoli managed to top this group in real life so we've got to at least make that happen to just you know show that we're better than the real life napoli manager but just as you thought everything is going to go well we're going to get to keep our entire squad no offers have come in we get a transfer offer from real madrid for ossiman no freaking way ossiman nah dude we're gonna have to sell him to Madrid. You guys saw how good he was. Oh, we had built this team perfectly. Creature and Mares supporting Ossiman. It just worked wonderfully. Now in the next four days, we're gonna have to figure out a way to replace Ossiman and bring in a striker that's capable of parrying our attack. I really don't know if we can pull this off, guys. This is a huge challenge, but hey, that's the job here at Napoli. It's the stipulation we set, and we've got to overcome this challenge. Next episode, we sell Ossiman, and we figure out who to replace him. You guys let me know now in the comment section how do we save ourselves from this situation.